Hello guys and welcome to another video. Now you can support us to create more free content by buying us a coffee. Check out the link in the description below and thanks a lot. Libby's dad Chuck got caught hitting on married women. Even though many 90 day fiancé fans are getting sick watching the Potas family on TV, lately things started getting interesting, as Libby's dad Chuck got caught sliding into a married woman's DMs. Stay tuned and let's dive in together into more details. Easy Facts Buzz Breathe Entertainment The Potas family has been called out many times this season by 90 Day Fiancé happily ever after fans, but Patriarch Chuck is the latest family member to make headlines after he slid into a female former cast member's DMs. As the head of the notorious 90 Day Fiancé family, many family members have been accused of mulching off of wealthy businessman Chuck. However, Chuck is now the one being ridiculated after he allegedly messaged Emily Larina from season 7 in a series of posted messages. Though Chuck often gives money and jobs to family members, some fans have questioned the extent of his wealth as well as the validity of his house flipping business. Viewers have alleged that Chuck is a slumlord who engages in shady business practices for unethical money. Furthermore, fans aren't even convinced that Chuck is as wealthy as Libby and Andre Kastrave depict him to be. Overall, the entire family has been slammed by fans for being lazy freeloaders who also display culturally ignorant and suck-up behavior. Libby's husband Andre is similarly disliked for his vulgar attitude, laziness and arrogance. One fan took to Reddit to air Chuck's recent alleged messages to former cast member Emily. Chuck over here hitting on Emily at 1.30. The user captioned the screenshot of a conversation. How do we have 280 common friends on Facebook? Chuck allegedly messaged the blonde beauty. Hi, I think it's because we both appeared on 90 Day Fiancé. She wrote back. I'm the one married the man from Russia. Viewers immediately speculated that Chuck was trying to hit on the married woman. Emily is still with her season 7 partner Alexander, Sasha Larin, who was working as a personal trainer at the gym she joined when they met. Since Emily appears to prefer muscular men, many found the idea of Chuck potentially hitting on her to be humorous. Out here making moves like a peasant, one unimpressed top comment reads, Nice try, Bank of Chuck. Another user shamed in. One fan wrote that they were concerned for a moment since they often got Libby and Emily mixed up. Many agreed that Chuck had no chance with Emily. Lot of laughing, wrong chick Chuck this girl is obsessed with the gym junkie, she ain't gonna look at you. One commenter wrote, He might DM Trish, Mike's mama, she's a single as well. The original poster wrote back, Fans have noted the physical similarities between Chuck and Mike Youngquist's mother Trish during Happily Ever After. Maybe if mother Mike gets a man, she'll leave Mike alone little, lot of laughing. Another user wrote. Overall, many 90 day fiancé fans have turned on the Pothas family due to the consistently negative behavior that they display on the show. Many viewers find the drama between the family and Andre to be contrived and repetitive. Rather than watch in Las argues, fans have called to see the franchise return to its original premise and focus on the K-1 visa process for international romances. In C, 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After has turned to feature plastic surgery plotlines and potentially scripted drama that has left fans frustrated. What do you think guys about this? Please leave us your comments in the section below so we can know your opinions and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell for more contents. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.